how do you get an agent? I'm Jeremy Ellis and today I'm gonna to answer your questions. The first thing you need to do is you need to write and then you need to write some more. If it isn't on the page, it ain't on the stage as they say in Broadway. If you haven't written it, then you can't possibly have an agent. A lot of people who wanna to try to get agents off of ideas or concepts, that doesn't work. The second thing is develop your voice. When somebody picks up your script, they'll recognize that they're reading a unique voice and that is one of the things, along with being a good storyteller, that agents look for. While somebody's reading your material, write something else. Don't sit around waiting for them to get back to you. Write the next thing. Frankly, this is a good practice when you're a professional because it takes a long time for movies and television shows to get made and you're gonna to wanna to have other things in the pipeline ready to go. You don't really know which one is gonna be the one that hits. It still boils down to individual tastes. If you give me a romance script, I might recognize that it's really well written, but it might fail to move me because I'm not, generally speaking, a big romance guy. You give me a crime story, you give me something scary, I'm in. The next thing you want to do is develop relationships. If you happen to live in Los Angeles and you can sort of be a part of the scene and you can meet other people who are in the business, chances are you'll eventually meet somebody who either is an agent or knows an agent. If you are a good writer, you're probably going to attract the attention of somebody who looks at what you've written and thinks maybe you can, they can make some money with you. What if, let's say, you're not in Los Angeles? The good news is, is the whole world is open to you. Everybody zooms. There's more and more production all around. There's more and more people who are looking for material. And so to find somebody who is looking for something and who feels that what you've written is what they need is probably a greater number of people than if you were just in LA. Eventually what will happen is you'll get it, your script, your material into the hands of an agent and they will want to talk to you. Now, chances are the next thing that they're going to ask you is what else have you written? Either because the thing that you've written was good on the page, but it's not something they think they can sell, or because they want to know that you're not showing them a script that you've spent the last 10 years writing, but you've got other material. There's lots of people who are writing scripts in Hollywood. When you're trying to find an agent, you've got to let them know what you write. Are you a fantasy guy? Do you write crime? Do you write dramas? Do you write horror? Do you write comedy half hours if it's TV? Do you write hours? And you're going to want to actually write a few scripts that are in that genre so that you can demonstrate for people who read you that that's what you do best so they know how to sell you. If you can persevere and you can do those things, keep writing, develop your voice, be working on the next thing, and cultivate your relationships and what you're known for, then you're going to get an agent and you're going to be on your way. I'm Jeremy Ellis. I'll see you in the next reel. Okay, we can cut there.